Good morning, tribe, and happy Vlogmas Day 16. We've made it this far, and thank you all who have been following along in the Vlogmas series. We've made it this far. Uh, today is Monday, but it's like my Sunday because tomorrow I am back to work. <laughs> I just uploaded the Sunday vlog, so I hope you guys can have a little time to watch that. Uh, let me tell you, as a YouTube creator it's not always gonna be easy and smooth like today this morning this video gave me so much trouble i had to find a way to upload it because iMovie was giving me a headache <laughs> but i went on youtube because nowadays you can learn everything on there and i looked up a video and i was able to find a way to upload this video so Nevertheless, like I always say, she persisted <laughs> and we got that video up. So that was my morning. It's now the afternoon and I have to go bake some cookies for a friend. And I'm hopefully later we can go do some Christmas activity. them a little bit but they're still good these are my famous alfajor cookies these were introduced to me by a an argentinian friend these are very popular in argentina and in peru i found out too they're very popular over there and i learned how to make these and i get orders from family and friends and they're really really popular at parties so Occasionally, friends and family will order little platters of these cookies to take over to a get-together, to a party, for a dessert table. So, these little cookies have put a little bit of money in my little piggy bank. So, baking. If you guys know how to bake, that can bring you in a little extra income as well. So I ran out of piping bags, so I, I used a little sandwich bag to put some dulce de leche. It's like a milk caramel. So yeah, a, a friend made an order for today and these are really, I've been making these for eight years now. So I can practically make these with my eyes closed. And uh, the very when I first started, oh my gosh, it was trial and error because these are some hard cookies to get them just right. But now that I have the hang of it, they're so easy to make. Maybe one day I will share my top secret recipe. So my tried and true recipe for these past eight years. So this is what they look like. I put a little dollop of the dulce de leche and then I do a little, it's like a little sandwich cookie. Sandwich it together. And then typically I put coconut shavings like around the edges, but not everybody likes coconut. So I always ask if they want it or not. But most of the time they say no because not a lot of people like coconut. And then we add a little bit of powdered sugar and they're good to go. These are my famous addictively delicious alfajor cookies. I've created cookie monsters with these. So now the next step is adding some powdered sugar and I'll show you how I package them. Okay, so now I powdered the cookies. They look like this, cute little snowflakes. And I found these really nice boxes at Big Lots. During this time, they bust out these cute little cookie boxes. And I think they're perfect to pack these cookies up. 
I just love how they turned out. I really like that cookie stamper I showed you guys. Uh, I got that at Michael's. And they have a different, different style. So, I'm going to stick these little guys in here. And I like how it has that window. So you can see what's in here. And I'll show you the end result. So, we're going to end up going to the LA Zoo Lights. I uh, changed my mind about the ice rink. We'll try that another day. But I'm excited. I bought the tickets already. And it starts at 6. So I have plenty of time to get ready and get these delivered. Ta-da! This is the end result. Look at how pretty that looks. Perfect for your holiday gifting. You can do this with basically any cookie that you make. Sugar cookie. There's tons of recipes online. And... Just put it in a little box like this, put a little bow, and that makes a cute gift. I know a lot of cookie monsters, and they would all really appreciate a gift like this. And I'm pretty sure you guys know a ton of cookie monsters. But one important rule of baking and cooking is the quality check. You always gotta do the quality test and check that your product tastes good before you hand it out to somebody. I suspected they taste delicious you want some here take a bite come on don't be shy <laughs> the cookie passed the test and that is it for this tiny baking segment i'm gonna call my friend and let her know that the cookies are ready to be picked up and i need to start getting ready for the la zoo lights I'm so excited to bring you guys along. I've been waiting, I've been wanting and waiting three years to go to this. But it either always gets sold out or I never get a chance to go. So today I got online, bought my tickets and told Papa Chico, we're going. Tickets are already purchased and we just got to show up at six o'clock. And I'm excited to bring you guys along and I'm excited to see these lights for the very first time. I'm gonna go get ready and I'll see you guys in the next slide.
One, two, three. Happy holidays! <laughs> <laughs> Think if one of I kiss one of those frogs, my prince will Bagel in the morning, that's it. Do you like the lights? Hmm? Did we start in the luces? Oh! <laughs> I feel child again. <laughs> People are staring because they're yelling. <laughs> I had a good time. We had a good time. Very good time. Now, to go find dinner. Yes. <laughs> All right, Tiny Tribe, that completes the Vlogmas Day 16. We really enjoyed bringing you guys along for the ride. I hope you enjoyed all those beautiful Christmas lights at the zoo. I'm pretty happy we went, uh, finally, after three years of wanting to go. 
it was quite a success very cold <laughs> we're gonna call it a day now and i'll see you guys tomorrow in the next vlogmas tomorrow <laughs> see you guys mañana sending you a big tiny hug and warm holiday wishes adios That's not roasting. <laughs>